Hello and welcome to the magnets kit from the test tube. We're going to do some very attractive experiments and in this short video we're going to show you how to make the world's smallest and simplest electric motor. The components that you need from the kit are a C-sized battery and a battery holder, two paper clips, a flat rare earth magnet, some enameled copper wire, a rubber band and you'll also need a pair of scissors. To begin with, take the length of enamelled wire and leaving about 50 millimetres or 5 centimetres of wire spare, wrap it round your battery five times. And then, with another five centimetres of wire off the other side of the battery. Take the scissors and cut the wire. Now, taking the coil of wire, wrap the spare ends around the looped coil to hold it in place. The first one is very easy, the second one is a little bit more difficult because it's very important that these two pieces of wire protrude from the coil at exactly opposite points. If you do get this slightly wrong, it is easy to, easy to adjust it later on. But when you're done, you'll have a coil, hopefully, that looks something like that. Next, you need to prepare the base of your motor. Clip the battery into the battery holder and bend out the two small metal tabs at the ends. And take your paper clips and bend them so the outside part of the paper clip is straight like that. Do the same to the other one and then very carefully pop them through the holes in the tabs. When you've done that, fold the tabs back down. And to hold them in place Take the elastic band and wrap it really tightly around the battery holder. You probably need to do this two or even three times. When that's complete, the paper clips should stand up reasonably firmly by themselves. Now we just need to check how well our coil is balanced. Firstly, open the paper clips up a fraction so they lean away from the battery as shown. This just gives a little bit of clearance for the coil. And then loop the wires of your coil into the paper clips as shown and it should spin reasonably freely. Now we come to what is probably the trickiest part of making your magnet motor. The coil is made from enameled wire, which means it's copper wire with a lacquer coating. And on one end of the coil, we're going to scrape all of the coating away. And I'm going to do this using a pair of scissors, just the blade like this. It's sometimes easier to do it on a flat surface. But just slowly scrape the scissors along the wire and you'll see little pieces of lacquer dust coming away and you'll also see a changing colour as you expose the shiny metal underneath. Go all the way around and completely remove the enamel from one end.
You can also, at this stage, trim the ends of your coil just to make it a little easier to handle, a little easier to scrape off. Trim them so that uh, they're just slightly wider than the motor itself. Having completed removing the enamel from one end of the coil, we've now got to look at the other end. And this time, we're only going to remove half of the coating. This is really important or your motor won't work properly. We're going to remove the top half of the enamel on one side. Just half of it. Not a strip along the top, but from the side over the top and down to the other side, leaving half of the metal exposed. And again, I'm going to do this with the blade of the scissors. Sometimes a little easier if you put it down on a flat surface. And you could use a knife blade or even a screwdriver. The final stage in making your magnet motor is to take the rare earth magnet and stick it onto the battery just underneath the paper clips. Then take your coil and as before place it inside the loops on the clips. This time however you should notice a big difference. You may have to give your coil a little flick just to get it started. And there we have it, the world's simplest electric motor. If it doesn't work at first, there'll probably be one of two reasons. Either your coil isn't balanced, which is easy to correct, or you haven't scraped the wire off quite right. So go back and check that again. You might like to try experimenting with different sizes and shapes of coils. Which is the best? Which makes the motor run, motor run fastest? Which makes it run for the longest time? Write in and tell us on the forums how you got on with your magnet motor.